Hey guys, so I'm starting out with concealer on my lids just to prime. I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape in Fair Neutral and I'm just using a damp beauty blender to blend that out. Then I'm going into my custom created palette that has mainly Makeup Geek shadows in it and I'm using the shade Frappe with an E35 brush just through the crease. And then I apply some tape on the outer corners of my eyes. Then I'm taking this really vibrant neon orangey shade called Poppy and I'm just doing the same thing but I'm focusing it a little bit more in the upper crease and then winging it out a tiny bit in the outer corner. And then I just take a clean brush and blend out those edges. And then I took an E35 from Sigma and I just used, I mean an E25, sorry. I just used the shade Cocoa Bear just to sort of deepen up that very point where the crease meets the lid. And then I'm going back in with my Shape Tape Concealer on an E17 brush and I'm just carving out the crease and creating a cut crease. So then I'm going into the BH Cosmetics Foil Eyes palette and I'm taking this vibrant purple and I start to pack it on with an E54 and then I do just add a little bit more on the lid with my finger to make sure the intensity was the way I wanted it to be. So. Basically, yeah, carving out the crease and then applying that purple all over the lid and all the way to the outer corner where the tape is. Then I just went back in with the E25 and made sure the edges were nice and seamless. And then I'm taking my liquid liner. This one is from Technique Cosmetics. It's the skinny liner and I'm just creating a wing along my lash line. Because I wanted the wing to be quite soft, I then took my black shadow from the palette which is called Corrupt on a Sigma E15 and I just pressed this against the liner just to kind of soften it out and give it more of yeah, a smoky look than a sharp liner. And then I just removed the tape and removed any fallout from my face and applied some black liner in my tight line and a coat of the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Mascara. And then for false lashes, I went in with the Kiss Blooming Lashes in the style Peony. Moving on to the face, I'm priming using the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Primer. So I'm just popping that all over my skin. And then for foundation, I'm mixing MAC Studio Fix Fluid with the Astralis Liquid Strobing Drops in Gold. And I just used my damp beauty blender again to blend this into my skin. And then for concealer, I just used Tarte Shape Tape again. Um, so I just dotted this under my eyes and down the center of my face and blended it all in once again with my beauty blender. Then, because I wanted my skin to be extra glowy, I went in with this Pure Cosmetics highlighter palette. It's a cream highlighter palette, so I used the more champagne-y shade on my Beauty Blender and just applied that to all of the high points of my face where I generally highlight. And then I went in with the Astralis Fresh and Flawless powder, I think this one is. Um, so I just pressed it into my skin with an F35 from Sigma, trying to kind of avoid the places where I already put my cream highlighter and, you know, just covering it up. And then to bronze and contour my skin, I used the Benefit Hula Bronzer and I used an F05 brush just to carve out my cheekbones, my cheekbones, and then pop some structure around the perimeters of my face. For blush, I went in with Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso, which I love. I forgot how much I love this blush, and I just used a Sigma F15 to apply it. And then to set my cream highlight and add a little bit more of a glow, I used the Tarte Skin Twinkle Volume 2 palette. I mixed two shades together and applied it to all of those high points that I applied the cream highlighter before. Moving back onto the eyes, I'm taking Poppy once again on an E35 and I'm just buffing this all underneath the lower lash line, 
not being too precise, I am being like quite messy with it. And then I'm taking Coco Bear on an E25, just doing the same thing but kind of keeping it more in the outer corner. Then I took Shimmer Shimmer, which is like a champagne-y white sh shimmery shade and I just highlighted my inner corners and my brow bone. And then finally I just applied a coat of lower lash mascara to finish out the eyes. Then for lips, I lined them with Maybelline Nude Whisper Lip Liner and I filled them in using one of my favourite nude lipsticks which is Colourpop Cookie Lippy Stick. And that completes the entire look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in my next video.